awesome people welcome back to my channel guys Adam Burwell and if it's your first time you know what to do please consider subscribing below I'll do my best to keep you informed entertained inspired and intrigued with all my YouTube videos and as you can see in the title of this particular video this is one of the highly requested for a couple of months uh, already and this is the Colombo Lotus uh, Tower uh, videos. Uh, a lot of you has been sending me links uh, for this for the past uh, few months and it's just now that I'm going to be trying to look at it and watch it and react to it. So my apologies if it took me you know, quite a long time. But anyway, I'll be linking this videos on the description box. Also, on there, there will be all my uh, social media links in which most of you would send in your video requests to me. All right, here we go. I'm quite excited. Take a step into the symbolic landmark of Sri Lanka and experience state-of-the-art facilities 356 meters off the ground. Wow. The is epitome of Sri Lanka's cultural identity and unveiling race. 356 meters. So uh, according to some of you, that I think this is the tallest or the highest building or infrastructure in South Asia. Please let me know below in the comments, okay? Recognized as the 19th tallest completed tower in the world, the 11th tallest completed tower in Asia, and the tallest completed tower in South Asia, Nenum Kuruna is on the forefront of providing a revolutionary experience to its guests. The first floor consists of VIP lounges alongside commercial buildings, while the second floor consists of exhibition halls and visiting centers, in addition to a modernistic telecom museum. Its roof floor situated 50 meters. Look at that view, guys. Absolutely awesome. I'm trying to think of a building or an infrastructure here. In my city, Cebu City, the Philippines, that can sort of like compare to this, but right now I could not really think of anything. <laughs> this off the ground presents an up close encounter of the city overlooking the Bear Lake. The tower also consists of a high speed lift, which makes moving along the 200 meter stem a smooth travel upwards. The Lotus Bud contains trailblazing facilities from banquet halls, which allows you to celebrate in the sky. 230 meters off the ground with nearly 250 guests on floors three and four in that that is just amazing so she said the lotus bud so it could be like the the part of the flower of the lotus flower where it's about to bloom i think the red part at the top an unmatched dining experience 234 meters high with a state-of-the-art revolving restaurant, which takes 90 minutes to complete one down. The perfect view only for the London cityscape. The Lotus Suite, a luxury guest house comprising of VIP rooms, promises an elegant guest experience nearly 200... Oh, okay, so basically, the, it could be that there is one owner of the whole building, and he or she is leasing uh, parts of it, or something like that? Or is it like a commercial complex? I think though he, he she indicated in the first part of the video. I think I wasn't listening, but anyway. <laughs> because she said that there's a guest house, a suite, and a restaurant, was it? It's 40 meters high. Witness the panoramic view of Colombo from the tower's observation deck from a height of 250 meters. So high. That is quite high. Right here in the heart of Colombo. Wait, so that was it. Wait, wait. Let's try to let's try to rewind a little bit, okay? Step into the symbolic landmark of Sri Lanka and experience state-of-the-art facilities. 356 meters off the ground. Yeah, so basically it's, it is a commercial, uh, for, you know, for commercial purposes or function. It has like function rooms, I guess, right? It's the epitome of Sri Lanka's cultural identity and unveiling room. Recognized as the 19th tallest completed tower in the world, the 11th tallest completed tower in Asia, and the tallest completed tower in South Asia, Nenum Kuna is on the forefront of providing Look at that. It has really such a, quite a unique design about unique to the point that it is pretty much like similar to the lotus uh, flower obviously the design 
Holly's completed talent in South Asia, Yenon Kuruna is at the forefront of providing a revolutionary experience to its guests. The first floor consists of VIP lounges alongside commercial buildings, while the second floor consists of exhibition halls and visiting centers, in addition to a modernistic telecom museum. Its roof floor, situated 50 meters off the ground, presents an up close encounter of the city overlooking the bay. Okay, I understand now. All right, so. Oh my god, I can only imagine like being that on that hundreds of meters way up in the sky. I mean, if you're like autophobic or if you have like fear of heights, this may not be the thing for you. <laughs> the tower also consists of a high speed lift, which makes moving along the 200 meter stem a smooth travel upwards. The lift is but high speed lift so i wonder like how many minutes or how many seconds would it get from the like the ground floor or the mezzanine to the top Amazing facilities from banquet halls which allows you to celebrate in the sky 230 meters off the ground with nearly 250 guests on floors three and four indulging in unmatched dining experience 234 meters high yeah so there is <laughs> restaurants there absolutely awesome the art revolving restaurant, which takes 90 minutes to complete one down. The perfect view only from Columbus City Scale. The Lotus Suite, a luxury guest house comprising of VIP rooms, promises an elegant guest experience nearly 200. Look at that. I bet this is, this would be a little quite expensive to like rent or book a suite for a night or two. I don't know, but um, as you've mentioned before, Colombo is like the commercial capital of Sri Lanka, right? So this would make sense that the Lotus, you know, the Colombo Lotus Tower would be there. Yep, the that is exhilarating. The height of 250 meters. The Lotus Tower, an experience like no other, right here in the heart of Colombo. That was just absolutely breathtaking. I wonder like how how many years it took to like complete the whole infrastructure, the whole building. Because that, you know, as magnificent as it is, that would probably take a very, very long time to complete. And that was just awesome, guys. Thank you so much. And again, I'm sorry it took a while. Right now I'm just using the television, okay, because I'm now like a little bit, bit tired and doing some editing via OBS. But anyway, thank you so much for watching until the end, and I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.